Of course, here we go. We're seeing no players on the south side of the map. We're seeing a bunch of teams spawning at Celestra. We see a lot of teams spawning in between Celestra and Still Tide Temple. And then the rest of our teams are going to be closer to Sun Wings Rest. All right, Seb, let's get into the game. This is our last game for Group B, all right? Group B's teams are going to say goodbye after this. As we can see Nocturnal Pooby starting with the kill. Pooby getting a super nice parry and going into that spear combo. A verse is already down. Pooby's going to go for the revive while Mime is going to try and fend off the other two KRT players. Mime's super low right now. Shka and Inamuse are also there as well. A verse is going to go down again. Again, to in a muse. We're going to try and see who's going to fight here. We see Pooby going as a Temel player. I know, I know. It is, it is insane. Look at that. We can see some Vald as well. We're seeing Pooby just trying to play this as smart as he can. Maybe trying to go for the revive. Him and Mime are the last two alive. They're getting that revive off on Frupia. Frupia is definitely going to need to get a reset off here. All right. If you analyze, look at the look at the comp from Nocturnal man. Yes, Shan. Viper Ning and Temok, they did something completely different. Yeah, I think they're just going to be coming into this game to have fun. Oh my god, huge F scale from that Yodo. It's going to take down a couple people. Confusion is in the air right now. Dabao getting a kill on DZC. Some GBL players going down, some Dot Gaming players going down. Dabao here, not too sure what to do. He's going to get hit from that longsword. DZC trying to get away from that, trying to pop the bell. Missed time though, he's going to try and run away now. It's not going to be enough. A DCC Spatra is going to fall to 20 HHH. That keeps going right now. ABA 149 turning around, showing us his skills. 149 dropping out of nowhere, uh -huh. getting, giving and dealing so much damage to that one player, but he's not able to get the kill. Sanju and Bowza are both dead. Daobao is going to get revived here. He's about to pop his ult so he can stay alive. 24 HH trying to get some kills as well. DZC is going to lose Yin Yan right now. That is going to be almost all of their players. Daobao hitting a very good bell there, saving his life, trying to, needing to get some heals off now. All right, we can see going around 88's 149 one more time. Going around and look at that. Daobao is going to fall to Xiaoming. 149 didn't even have to get a punch in there. Pooby here. Nocturnal is going to try and join this fight. He's going to take a lot of damage from 149. Pooby looking very, very confident right now. Mime coming in and a verse. They're all going to go against 149, but he's going to pop that Yueshan or Tianha just to be able to get his health back. And now he's going to try and go for a reset. It was a very smart move from him because he needed to get out of that situation. Right now, Nocturnal is going to be a 2v1 inside of that place as GBL is going to counter attack. GBL is going to get a kill on Mime. Mime going down here. Daobao also down. We're going to see Averse here trying to get a couple kills here. We're going to see KRT in Amuse take down GBL's um, old six. And we're going to see Ryo Men also fall. Look at that. It's been such a high pace right now. Nocturnal Averse with the US Shant getting a one kill. That was amazing. Averse taking that kill for Rupia. Rupia getting a kill here in a muse going down to ADA Xiaoming Pooby trying to get some hits off with the nunchucks but is going to get caught up in that ult he's going to connect but it's not going to happen Shka is going to get that kill stolen from ADA's 149 shot with the bow I love that man Shka just showing us that Valda is still in the meta but Valda trying to get that spear off, not able to. NGX Mine now is going to try and get some grabs on ADA's team, but ADA is just not having it. He's going to get one grab. Xiao Ming is going to go down. And Loves is missing those shots. He's going to be forced to go with the slam, trying to grab him again. You cannot miss those shots in that moment, man. Like, it's just completely just hanging in there in the air. You need to be able to get the, to deal the damage. He's gonna get grabbed again. They're hitting those shots this time, but Mines is going to have to exit his ult as the timer is up and 149 coming out with this Tianhai, getting a grab right off the bat. That's one, that's two. He goes for the slam. Tanoshi going down. Amazing game by ADA's 149, showing us one more time, getting a multiple grabs and getting the kills.
Yeah, we see it here. We see one player trying to go. We see the NGX player trying to do the same thing that ADA's 149 does, but no one can do it as good as he can. No, it's not something that you can just imitate, man. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice. It is not something that you can just see and imitate. GBL here trying to hit that third party. It's a bloodbath early this game. We're seeing Daobao coming in and taking Yeesh. down Xiao Mei. 149 here on the run. He's going to also go down as well. That is the entire ADA team. You gotta love GBL, man. They come in, they deal so much damage, take the kills, and they don't care who they're fighting. I don't know. I don't care from which region you are. I don't care which team you are. They don't run away from no one. And look at here as well, Redhawk trying to get this one player from NXG, but NXG is going to pop his ult right here, trying to go for a couple grabs as Loves comes in for support Mitsuke. Very, very low here. He's about to go down, very stuck. He's going to have to pop his ult. I know, man. The NGX was not able to get on any grabs in their minds, not having the best in his mind. But look at that. Shh. Shut up, Isaac. Look at that. It's now old six on air, stomped down on the ground. And let's see if NGX can just capitalize from this. Mines here taking a lot of damage. And GBL 2AHH is going to get mines. And he's going to try and get another kill there. But there was nobody else there to kill. He's going to try now and go for Tanoshi. I know, man. And GX got the one kill that they needed, but after that, they just got ganked by GBL. We're seeing here GBL almost able to take out NGX Tanoshi. He's low health. Alts are being popped. People are trying to get out of here, but Tanoshi is going to go down. One more time. GBL 28HH getting another kill. Old 6 gets one more from Loves. And GBL right now just stacking bodies, man. Stacking bodies indeed. Cigar Ash, 496. They have one player down right now. They're fighting against CPG. This is a fight we've seen quite often. 496 versus CPG. CPG is often always emerged victorious. And we see Nine Shade going down to the bow of Kakashi. Let's see if 496 can just change the story this time and turn it around. Right now, only Cigar Ash is going to survive after that little scrimmage that they had in there. But CPG does not want to let him go. If he dies here, he does not have a single resurrection, resurrection and he runs into Nocturnal's team, not knowing that they're there. He's going to have to try and fight Nocturnal to get out of this fight. He's trying to move away, but he's not able to. This is looking very grim for 496, man. They needed to get the points, and right now, Cigar Ash is gonna go down, thanks to Nocturnal. Cigar Ash that was the last player in that fight for their team, and they're just keeping taking L's, man. They need to be aggressive, but if 496 cannot get enough points in today's game, in this game, they might not be able to make it for tomorrow. ADA here, we're seeing them coming back after they've been resurrected. We see Team CC here, Ming looking very strong. They've got purple weapons already. They are looking ready to go. All right, as we can see the left side of your screen, we can see already GBL with 10 kills. It's Ooh. not even 10 minutes and they already got 10 kills, man. Look at Sheesh. that. And we're seeing J team opening up the vault early this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, li I like the strat, man. I like the strategy when you actually just take the courage to just go for the vault and then just open that and then just go for it. You need to actually be able to go for it. Definitely. We're seeing here Nocturnal in fourth place, right? Or sorry, they have four kills right now, 18th place. They're actually doing what I said they might do get a lot of kills this game. I know, man. I hope that they can go all the way. Ryomen already out of the game right now. Hannah is trying to run for her life. She's got only a gray spear, which is not going to look very good as she's going to be grappled down. DCC is going on the kill. Patra tries to go. Hannah just counters attack, gets the kill. She's going to heal herself. Trying to go around is not going to be enough as DCC is going to gank on her and Inyan is going to take the kill. Yinyan taking that kill, Hannah being able to maneuver away for yes. a very long time, which is good because it puts DZC at a disadvantage right mm -hmm. now. They're going to lose a lot of health to the Storm right now. I know, man. For 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 their team, it's not going to look really good as Ryomen is already out of the game. But let's see. Let's hope that Alliance, Hannah, and Helos can take the things and turn them around.
Nocturnal here getting that free drop. They're able to not take too much damage from that as they are getting hit from a barrage of arrows from CPG. And we're seeing Ooh, Team CC ballista, on the that. Ballista <laughs> trying to get some kills there. Old Six almost getting hit there. Oof, if you get hit by that at that distance, ah, that's going to that's gonna leave a scar. That is definitely going to leave a mark. 28 HH, stacked loadout right here. He looks like he's going to be running spear and bow for start, but he's got a katana in the bag in case he needs to get a couple other kills at close range. If he just needs to deal that out, man, he's just going to deal that out. This is his Sanjo one more time. He's going to try to engage because he's got the grapples, comes in, but he's going to be stopped in there. Stopped mid-air from 28HH and GBL's teammates. They're going to try and get some charged attacks off with that spear, but they're looking like they're taking a lot of damage. GBL is going to be able to put enough distance in between them, but they're about to run into KZ. Yes. KZ looking very strong right now. That is going to be a very good 3v3v3 fight. That would be really nice to see Guizhou right, right over rocking those blue nunchucks. He knows that he's ready for the fight, just trying to find the right angle. Trying to fight this right angle. If he finds the perfect way, he's going to be able to cut GBL off and catch them by surprise. Ah, look at that. J Team's Lee with the gold nunchucks. Taking one more kill. Shka putting with the Valda ult on air. He's not going to be able to drop down the spear. Takes one down, but he's not going to claim the kill. He's going to be able to get a lot of damage onto J Team's Lee. Frupia is going to go down there now. There's only one KRT player left. He's going to make a break for it. Come on, man. Like, you cannot just have like the, the people over there just waiting for you to claim the kill and then just being counter attack and just losing the fight. ADA here coming in on the third party. They're going to try and get Wen Long here as 149 pops his bell. Very well timed bell right now. He's going ah, to get that repeated dagger attack off with that gold focus attack. J Team Lee is very low right now. He is definitely stressing out, just trying to get some cannon shots off. And Wen Long just trying to defend against 149 with that. You is Sean Alt. J Team Lee running away for his life as he's going to pop the ult. Gonna try to stun, but it's gonna be a monk up. We're going to see that monk coming out again, and this is the best monk Ooh, in the that. game. 149 has control, and he's going to go ah, down. <laughs> look at that, man. He grabbed it on air. The US comes in with this with the spear, slam, and he's going to shape it in two halves. It's a Naraka Ali Oop, ladies and gentlemen. Naraka Ali Oop, I like that one, man. Let's go. I like that, a Naraka Ali Oop. We're seeing here Wu Sin here, just last one of the last members of his team alive. He's trying to survive. He has to get out of there. We're looking now. DZC Sanju trying to hail up as well well as MIT, he's got the alts out. He's got the ult, but he was not able to capitalize out of that. Pride, Z, Spectre, and Light Cloth in what could be their last game. Let's hope that the boys are going to make it far in this one. They're going to take this fight with DZC, and Light Cloth instantly gets parried right off the first attack. He's able to get his spear back and come back into it as they go into a fight into the zone. Pride, Z, looking very weak right now, trying to get out of there. Good use of the Temok F scale to get out of there. Look at that right now, but DCC Sanjo is still gonna go on the hunt. He's trying to use the grapples to come in. Right now he can see his target and he's swinging his weapon. Team CC coming in and joining this fight with MIT as well. Like Love and Ming are going to go at it. M uh, sorry, MZZ and Ming are going to go at it right now. Like Love trying to get out there as fast as he can because he knows he's taking a lot of damage. He's going to try and swing on the other player who's taken down Prides. Ming looking very strong right now. Very bad for the MIT, man. As two of their players are going to go down, he won't be able to revive both of them. And he's going to be a lone wolf from now. DZC Sanju popping that all early game. He's trying to get a couple slashes and grabs. He's trying to get Like Love because he knows Like Love is trying to go for the revive. He ends up grabbing Like Love, stopping that revive from happening, and That's Like it. Love is going to go down. How unlucky for Like Love that was trying to revive his teammate but was not successful on that. He was just seen by the monk, and in the moment that he was almost just bringing his teammate back, he was just pulled back into his hand. Ming here, they're trying to make it into the zone, but it looks like they're going to be losing a lot of health here. 3-3-0, Ming and MZZ are both 
very, all three of them are very, very low. Let's see if they'll make it into the zone. I hope that they're gonna make it into the zone. As you can see, the left side of their screens right now, their ranks are changing for the first time since the tournament has started. KM is not on top as DCC and ADA are gonna claim first and second position. KN still with two games to go though, so that those ranks are not set in stone. As we see Ming actually going down to the storm, 3-3-0, very, very, he's gonna try and pop his ult, put Sanju into the storm. After getting that grab, he's gonna try and go for the second grab. He gets it gets a second it. time, tries to go for a double grab, but it looks like he's just gonna get Sanju, Sanju with that bow from his other attack, Slam slamming it, it to the ground. Getting a first grab, getting a grab again. Team CC getting using that charged attack. Second from the slam! <laughs> slams one, slams the second one, and that it, boys, let's go. It's CX330 showing us that not only Aid Ada has a very good Tianhai player. He took Team CC to Slam City. They got brought to Pound Town. DZC over here. Team. Okay, let's take a second to collect ourselves. MZZ, last player alive on Team CC. DZC is out for blood right now. They need to get this kill. They want to get it so bad to get these extra points. I know, man, because you just mentioned that DZC, they might want to just go on top of the rank, right? Like, we know that KN has, um, has more games coming in after, but it would just look really nice if you can be on the top of the rank for a while. Look at that, CX330 taking one more kill of Batra. Y1, Yin Yan here trying to kill MZZ, but MZZ is gonna be able to pop that F skill, giving them just a little bit of an advantage. So Yin Yan is going to go down. 3-3-0 is going to end up winning. Team CC is gonna win that fight and they're going to be able to revive MZZ. MZ going, choosing to revive MZZ instead of Ming is the smartest play possible because you need your Kurumi player at the you end of the You need your day. Kurumi, man. It would be really difficult for the Tianhai and the US Shan just to survive for longer. You need that Kurumi player. You it was do. it was a difficult choice, right? Like which of my two teammates is going to be, but well, you need to come up to what is best for the team. But even the Yeshan's player is saying, "Don't revive me. You need Karumi." Yeah, sometimes in team play, in, in team sports, you just need to do that, man. You they, just need to just take the L for the team. J team sending a barrage of cannon shots against GBL. GBL running for their life right now. They're getting hit left, right, and center. J team is doing very well right now. I think they all have cannons. Yeah, and J Team's strategy is always like this. Like you have seen that they always just move in as they are just shooting forward. They want to corner their prey into a place where they would actually want to take the battle. So we have seen a lot of J Team doing that during today. So well, right now we can see 10 minutes and 30 seconds of the game, 24 people still left. J Team, let's see what Lee can do. Lee wants his Viper Ning, the best Viper Ning in the whole China mainland region. Lee playing with that amazing Viper Ning. He was able to actually get it off in the past two games better than he has the games before. Yes, exactly. We, this is one of the fastest games we've had. 10 minutes left and there's only 24 players. 24 players, most of the revives are already gone, man. Like right now, it is going to be really hard for people. They need to choose their battles. They need to choose them wisely. If they don't choose their fights wisely, they're going to die and they're going to get in a lot of, excuse me, trouble. We're seeing ADA here, GBL and Team CC are all gonna look like they're about to get into this Fight. DZC off the game, man. DZC is completely out. They were already wiped out of the game, and right now it's a ADAs and GBLs to take. Yeah, Team CC doing a very good job of wiping them out. They have 15 total kills this game. GBL at 13 kills. I'm hoping to see a 20 bomb here. Look at that care. Tishka one more time with the spear. It's not going to be enough, and Ferupia goes down to the Jing. We see that F skill being used to get out of that fight there. Good play by Shka. Creative play, trying to get a little bit, deal a little bit of damage with that Valda spear, but not able to get as much off as he would have liked. As we see Kakashi go down, and we see that the Yishan player from CPG hitting all of ADA's players at once, knocking them all back, and now they're on the revenge. CPGK is going to go down to J Team. I know, man, like sadly for them, as they're going to go down one more time, KRT going down two players, and we can see CPG, we have only one player, the Jing, trying to go and try to revive Kakashi, but this is not gonna work. Roju here with a gold 
spear on his ah Yeshan. That's gonna be so much damage, man. Look at that, he just swings it around. Right now we can see Lee Xiao Pi trying to engage against him, trying to show him that it's not about what kind of a weapon you have, it's about the skills. We see here for the first time in this game, FPX trying to pop that all and grab two people, but they're only gonna get one slam. We're seeing a swarm coming in from outside. FPX is going to be forced to go outside of this alt. He's going into the storm because he knows he's being healed, but he tries to grapple away, is not able to. Lee Xiao Pi down very, very low. He's gonna need to get healed by that Kurumi. They're gonna end up, he's gonna end up taking a lot more damage too here. Yeah, exactly, look at that. He's gonna, 149 is gonna have to pop the bell. It's gonna not be enough as he's gonna be surrounded by multiple people. Lee from J team is going to get the stun. Let's see if he can capitalize out of this. Wen Long is gonna take the kill on 149. Xiao Ming is going to go down. 149 is also going to go down. That was a perfect stun. They knew ADA was strong yes. and they wanted to beat ADA, so they just targeted them. They didn't use it on as many people as they could have, but they just used it specifically on that one team. Exactly, man. That was very well done from Lee, as Lee Xiao P is going to take one more player from J Team. J Team is not looking strong right now, as they're going to go down two people. Only Wen Long is going to stand from J Team. 14 players left with seven minutes left in this game. Wenlong here, last player from J Team in his alt. He's going to try and get away. He gets one kill on FPXZ Li Xiao P. Team CC looking very strong right now on the top. They have the high ground trying to get some kills on J GBL. And we see Ming from TC Team CC going down right now. FPXZ is going to lose another team member and they're, they're going to get wiped out. They're going to get wiped out, man. That was not really good for them. It's GBL just taking more and more kills. They still got three players and they're looking very strong. Team CC here playing a very creative strategy. They're putting mm -hmm. their um, Yeshan on the low ground and keeping the other two players standing back on the high ground so that they're able to have ranged attacks and then yeah. they're getting barraged by that Yeshan warrior at the exact same time. They can talk to each other and just to see exactly what they can, to, they can just share with each other what they can see, right? Just having different angles just give you more information of what your surroundings are. Here we go, Red Hawk still in this game. <laughs> Let's go, Red Hawk. Let's go. We I see love that, GBL man. going back into the storm, trying to grab that legendary drop maybe from that dead body over there, but is only gonna just lose a lot of health. I'd questionable place here going for loot very fast able to loot Oof. being able to loot at that speed is actually a very skilled ability looting takes a lot of time if you're not skilled and if you're not click quick with the clicks you are going to lose a lot of health you need to be quick with the clicks man and that just comes with a lot of practice oh, look no. at that oh, oh no oh Dropping no hell right now the swarm coming out again from 28 HH with that kill, trying to get another kill on there, but is not able to capitalize on the kill as we saw in previous games. Look at that CPG, the Jing, the last player from CPG is going to go on Monk down, and right now he's gonna depend on his nunchucks ability as he's gonna just hide on the corner of that house. It's not going to be enough. He's gonna have to pop the bell and he's gonna be on his way. Can he engage on that fight? But it's not gonna be enough as he's gonna go down to all six. GBL Daobao coming in with the Blood Ripper trying to corner somebody inside of that house as RH Mitsu is able to get out and pop his ult just in time. As we see, the GBL team stole that kill. Daobao stole the kill from RH and they're upset right now. So they're going to be targeting GBL, but GBL is looking way too strong for that. GBL is looking too strong, man. Let's go, Red Hawk. It's not going to be enough. Mitsu is going to go down to CX330 now. 28HH is going to pop his ult. He's going to go down. He's going to swing his, his sword and he's going to get on multiple kills as ult 6 is going to call on Risungu. GBL Dao Bao there almost getting that kill, but we see. Um, player number from Team CC stealing that kill. We see the Swarm and the Yeshan or Tianhai alt combo there. Very, very skilled play, holding him and then just barraging him with the, the Swarm. Oh, look at that. KRT still going on. Shka is going to use the Valda trying to get on the damage. It's not going to be enough. He's going to get killed from the top from GBL Daobao with the bow and arrow. I was a little bit confused at why she was holding the top of that for so long instead of trying to throw the spear. 
just maybe trying to stay alive for as long as she can. Being up on the top of that means you do have the power to stay um, alive and yeah, up above from the attacks a little bit longer, but GBL said, nah, I'm gonna go sniper gang on him. Look at that, it's gonna be Team CC with three players, GBL with three players, and they have still one player from J Team, looks like. J Team player is still alive. We're seeing Team CC looking very, very good right now. I'm putting my money on GBL or Team CC. If J Team comes through and wins this, that would be absolutely crazy. Look at that, Tapao is going to pop his ult and he's got the time because he knows that the other players are going on cooldown. Everyone is just kind of hiding inside of the house to not be able to be grabbed by Tapao. GBL trying to move through that crack but is not able to. We see GBL's ult, 28HH is going to go into that house and is able to pop that ult, but t and is going to take down Team CC, MZZ. Uh, ult 6 is going to be able to come in there and get the kill. We're going to not see very many people go down right, but looking here, we're going to see Dabao coming out. Ult 6 is going to go down to Team CC's Ming up in Yueshan Warrior form. Is it going to be a 2v2v1? Two two Do we still have one player from J Team trying to battle it out? Team CC getting parried by GBL HH. Huge parry there. Team CC getting a second parry, able to go in and getting that kill on Wen Long. Four players left, and it is going to go to GBL. L. Congratulations to GBL standing last in this game four. Congratulations. Oh my god. Double <laughs> pair. It was looking so much in favor for Team CC. 